Hi, welcome to another edition of Wired for Wealth, guiding you to achieve financial freedom and peace of mind. I'm your host, John McGregor. I wanna be your antidote to your financial struggles. My goal for you is to help you think better, so you can do better, so you can feel better about your financial situation. And that's what this is all about. Before I do that, don't forget to hit subscribe. And in the end, we'd love to hear your feedback, some of your comments. Um, we'd love to hear those. It really helps us develop future episodes going forward. Today's episode is a continuation from a previous episode I did on debt. People's credit card debts are literally destroying their lives. And you may understand this, you may be going through this yourself. If you are, you are not alone. But I'm gonna offer you a solution that you can, help, you can start paying down your debt much more quickly with a process. And there's really two things that I've noticed in anyone trying to accomplish anything in their life, right? Number one is they have a process, an effective and proven process. It's just like if you were to bake a cake, right? You wouldn't just go to the store and wing it, thinking I need that ingredients, I need this ingredients, I'm gonna get that, and I'm gonna throw these things together without any kind of formula or recipe, right? It's the same thing here. You need to adopt a formula, a strategy, a process, a recipe, a proven recipe that actually works. The second thing and the most critical part of this is taking action. And this is where most people go wrong. They get the process, but they don't take action. And a process without action is what? It's just a process and it's just gonna sit there and you will go nowhere. You will continue to live under the strain of constant credit card debt and anxiety and pain. And I talked about this before. There's actually a medical term called debt anger syndrome. And you may relate to this. People that are carrying debt typically have a very uh, hard demeanor on life. They're not happy people. And I understand why. They're mad at the mailman for delivering their credit card bills, right? They're mad at the phone for ringing because they're afraid it's a collection agency. They're mad at their children because they need, a new, they need new braces or, or they wanna go to summer camp. They're mad at their spouse for not making enough money. They're mad at themselves for getting themselves in the situation they're in. Basically, they're mad at life. And we're gonna end that today because I'm gonna give you a proven process, a well-known process that you can start whittling away your debt because it is so, so important especially today, if you notice, prices are going up, right? And they're not gonna stop. We've seen inflation at a 40 year high. In fact, we've seen some inflation numbers we've never even seen before. Just your gas, paying six, seven, eight dollars a gallon for gas, it's crazy. And I will tell you folks, based on my economic forecast, it's not getting any better. And the other part of this is that interest rates are rising. Interest rates are rising radically. And the Federal Reserve has said they're gonna raise rights excuse me, raise rates very quickly over the next uh, 12 to 24 months. What does that mean? That means the cost of your debt, the interest that you're being charged on credit card debts and other types of consumer debt is going up. So it's taking more out of your paycheck. That's why it's so important to adopt an effective and proven process. And number two, take action, all right? And I am here to support you along the way. Okay, so in the first episode I talked about, um, I talked about a strategy called the avalanche strategy. This is the most cost-effective strategy that you can implement. This is the, the one that'll save you the most in interest rate costs. Now there's a twist to this, there's a downside to this, and I'll just quickly um, show you what this is. This is my terrible writing, I apologize. I am not a good writer, uh, <laughs> don't even get me started. So this is my horrible mountain, okay? And this avalanche strategy is where you start paying down your highest interest rate loans. That's your credit cards, your, your car loans, that's your uh, consumer loans you bought for furniture or electronics or uh, uh, whatever it is. So you start with the highest and you go down. Now, don't get me wrong, you still need to make the minimum payments on these other ones, but you really focus on this first one first, okay, until that is eliminated. Once that is eliminated, then you're using the same payment on top of the minimum payment you were paying here to go to this one. And then you just keep going down like an avalanche until you're completely paid off. With this system, the system works, and mathematically, statistically, this is the most cost-efficient way to pay down your debt. But here's the challenge. You know when you have a, you're playing a video game, right? And what do they do? 
They entice you, right? In the very beginning of that video game with early wins, right? Whatever it is, the bonuses or, or the, the things that you just won for reaching certain levels very quickly. These are hitting your, your brain. They're giving you dopamine hits in your brain and they're encouraging you to continue on and stay with the game, right? Make sense? That's what I'm gonna share with you on this next one. And that's the downside of the avalanche because you don't have those early wins, those, those early gold nuggets that they give you um, because it's taking you a while to pay off those, those higher interest um, debt, uh, consumer debts. So this is the snowball, pro snowball process. It's a very, very effective process that's kind of designed to elicit that dopamine hit in your brain, those early wins as you pay off your credit card debt. Now, it's not the most cost-effective way. You're gonna pay a little bit more in interest, but research has shown that more people stick to the snowball process than they do in the avalanche process. Now, if you're, if you're disciplined and you're committed, I would go with the avalanche. But if you're a little leery about sticking to a process and you kind of need that little extra push, then I'd go with the snowball. So in this case, what we're doing is we are structuring your debt based on the balances that you owe. Okay, so in this case, 300, 1200, 3000, 6500, so forth. And we're kind of ignoring the interest rate at this point. Now the purpose here is that once you pay off this early one, it's a quick win. It's, it feels good that you've eliminated one from your life. And, and studies have shown that typically people will want to stick to this and go on to the next one. Okay. Now, when you start focusing on this one, again, you're paying the minimum payments here, right? You don't want to ignore that because that's just going to cause even more problems with your credit and uh, collection agencies and all that kind of stuff. So we want to pay the minimums along the way, but we want to focus most of our savings here on that, on that low balance. And we want to get that paid off. Then we're gonna take that payment and we're gonna apply it here plus the minimum payment you were paying here until we eliminate this one as well. And you can kind of see the snowball effect in that regard. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to organize your debt. Most people, when I ask, they come into my office, I say, all right, show me what you have. And they're like, well, I got a credit card debt there. I've got uh, this student loan. I've got a car. Oh, and I got another, oh, I got this other credit card through a credit union. And then I start asking, well, what's your balance? What are the interest rates? What are the terms? It's like, I, you know, I think I owe 500 there. I think I owe, you know, 1100 there, whatever. Um, you know, this big one, they keep bothering me. And this one's that. I don't remember the interest rate, but it's a lot. And my payments are the... So financial organization is the first start in any thing because there is a direct correlation between financial disorganization and financial devastation. Those people that are financially organized in my 25, 27 years now of working with thousands of individuals, those people that are financially organized have a far greater chance of prob higher probability of financial success than those that are not financially disorganized. In fact, I can tell you to a T, every single individual that's struggling financially that came into my office is in complete financial disarray. They come to me with what I call a junk drawer of financial products and services. They have no idea where things are. Statements, contracts, agreements, all that stuff. You may fit the bill, totally normal, but now's the time. Process and action. By the way, I've got a free download on my website, a financial organization that's a really simple way to organize your finances and get started to do that. And you gotta do that with your, you gotta do with that with your debt. Because the more aware you are of those debts, you see them listed and the terms and the interest rates, the more likely you're gonna be successful in adopting the process and number two, what was it? Taking action, right? Taking action, that's the key. Now, the last thing I'll say is, I know you're living on a paycheck, right? And you've got your bills and there's limited stuff at the end of the month, right? That's why it's so, so important. If we're gonna tackle this debt, that's literally destroying your life. It's destroying your mental state of being, it's destroying your health, it's destroying your relationships, it's destroying your productivity at work. This debt is a strangle, it's a chain around your neck that's wreaking havoc on your life. So the first thing we need to do, you need to do, once we adopt this process, is we need to start looking at our spending. I would highly encourage you to go back and look at all your spending over the last three months and categorize all your spending down to Starbucks or whatever it is, Netflix, the gym, rent, utilities, cell phone, all that stuff and categorize them by needs 
versus wants, and also savings, what you're putting away for retirement, which I hope you are. Needs versus wants versus future retirement or, or savings, okay? Those three categories. And what you wanna do is you wanna hit 50% of your spending goes to needs, 30% goes to wants, and 20% goes to savings. That's the goal of the breakdown, the allocation of how your spending goes. By going through that list of all those expenditures, and please do this with a loved one, significant other, because the more you're doing this together, the more you're gonna help your, keep yourself accountable. The more you can look at these things and say, hey, do I really need it? And if you do, is there a cheaper way to do it? Do I really, I, I really want this, but is there a better, more economical way to get there? That exercise alone will be hugely, hugely impactful. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will find a lot of ways to save money to apply to your debt, whether it's the avalanche system or the snowball system, okay? So budgeting, super, super important. And managing and monitoring your expenses so you know where all your money goes. Now, budgeting, I know people hate that word. It's like a four letter word. It's like exercise or diet, right? I know, I get it. It takes a little work up front, but once you set up the system, once you set up the system and you commit yourself to looking at it once a week, just a few minutes a week, it doesn't take you long once it's set up, can actually be a very powerful and, and, and not as dreadful process as you may think, but you just gotta set it up at front, uh, up front, okay? Because it will go a long way in helping you. Now, the second thing I need you to think about is getting a side hustle. Trying to figure out a way to generate additional income outside of your job. And there are a million ways to do that today. Whether it's Uber or Driver Eats or all those kind of things. Um, Shopify, uh, you know, there, there's a million side things that you can be doing to generate additional income for your life to pay off this debt because you want to get rid of this, especially now in today's rising interest rate, rising price environment. It is so, so important. So with that, recap, what are the two things we need to do? Implement a process, a recipe that works, right? In this case, it's the avalanche or it's the uh, snowball uh, payoff process, right? Either one works. Just stick with one and go for it. And number two, take action. The second, the, the other thing I needed to do is we need to set up a budget and really identify where we can be saving money to apply to either debt strategy that you want. And then lastly, we need to figure out a side hustle, whatever that is. Even if you're generating $100 a month, it does not matter. It could be babysitting, dog walking, whatever it is, just implement. Go sell some stuff that you, that you don't need anymore. Most people have a lot of stuff that they don't even use or they don't want, and they can make a lot of money and use that to pay this off. So process, act, uh, take action. I hope that was helpful. At least I hope it got you thinking about what you can be doing to free yourself from the financial pain and the struggles and the stress and the anxiety and the insomnia that you're part, part, probably dealing with, as most are, we're carrying quite a bit of credit card debt and that debt anger syndrome that I talked about, right? Angry at the mailman, angry at the credit card companies, angry at your spouse, your kids, angry at yourself, angry at life. We want to end that. All right. So with that, go ahead and check out my website. Got a lot of free stuff that you can download. You can start using immediately to start your journey to financial freedom and peace of mind. And don't forget my course Thrive Path. It has really been a game changer for a lot, a lot of people. This is the missing piece. This is the paradigm shift that all other financial programs miss. So go ahead and check it out on my website. Hit subscribe again and leave a comment. We'd love, love to hear from you. And any ideas you have for saving money or paying off your credit card debt, please share it because it, it helps others that are, that are watching these videos as well. All right, with that, we'll see you next time. Upward and onward. Take care, bye-bye.